Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lovett again and I'm here to make an art project with you. Today I'm going to talk about Roy Lichtenstein and he is famous for his pop art. Pop art is short for popular culture art. He did a lot of cartoons, um, big comic strips, blown up and so we're going to do some of those pop art words. So today I want you to get a piece of paper white or light colored and if you have other colored paper that's great newsprint works as well and so does um the grocery bag but white paper and colored paper works the best this is my piece of paper and i'm going to choose a word and i want to do an action word or a word that means something to me so i'm going to choose the word pop for pop culture so i'm going to do a p o and another p and I'm not sure if you can see those with my pencil. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my marker and you wanna draw as lightly as possible with that. And I'm gonna outline my P. And my O. And my P. And I could have folded this and cut the P out twice, but I went ahead and did it. You can erase these lines if you want to, or you can just color over them. Now, the other thing that Roy Lichtenstein was famous for is Bende dots. So I'm gonna to talk to you about Bende dots in just a minute. So I've already cut out my letters. Now, one way you can do it is cutting out your letters or you can write your word and you can just create these bende dots. What bende dots are, are they're dots that were created to actually make color in a color comic strip before printers were as advanced as they are now. This was in the 60s. And so there were dots that as they got closer, they made, if I was using red, the dots would be redder. If I was using blue, the closer the dots got, they would be bluer. And if they were further apart, it would make the color look smaller from a distance. Roy Lichtenstein blew his artwork up, made it really, really big so you can really see the dots. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut around my letters. So if you're doing these, that's fine. You can do it that way, but I'm gonna actually do it this way. So I'm just gonna cut kind of a bubble around my letters. And then once I've done this, I'm gonna glue this on another piece of paper. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw a large star explosion on here. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna draw my explosion star. And I recommend you do it with a pencil. So if you make a mistake or you don't like your star, you can take it away. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna glue this on. And then I'm gonna add it to another piece of paper. So this is Roy Lichtenstein's work. And uh, this is his big giant word. Um, I have another book that I really love that has another giant word, blam. They're really action words. So I think that's really pretty cool. 
but I wanted to thank you for being brave today and trying this new project. Remember, you need scissors and glue, colored construction paper, or any kind of paper. You can always go back and color it, and you also could use markers, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye.